I don't know how you've got the nerve to ask that. Because I care, Betty. And I ain't done nothing wrong. Yes, well, that's not what the police think, is it? Morning. Why? Is it a special occasion? It's the day after yesterday. <laughs> well, I, I thought you'd be missing the children. Oh, I am. I am. But, see, I'm, I'm celebrating what they did for me. You see, they, they brought me and Donna together. <laughs> Are you <laughs> joking? <clears throat> You're not joking, are you? No, I'm not. I'm not. And I know it's a bit of a surprise, but so far it, it feels really good. You know, I, we just we get on. Well, I don't tell anybody yet, will you? Like, oh, I don't know, Viv, for example. <laughs> hey, that was that thing I was telling you about. You know, that uh, Roger and Helen had. No. Yeah, when you walk down the aisle on our wedding day, a vision of loveliness in white. Uh, yeah, hung over with bags under my eyes. No, uh, the Queen of Sheba, that's it, the arrival of the Queen of Sheba. Well, I was thinking more in Nick Cave myself, love. Who? Come on. Hey. So she did have something to do with Shelley's disappearance. She might actually be innocent, Tom. You know, I remember what it was like, people believing the worst. She's, um, out here. Oh. And what you doing here? I told you, I wasn't trying to kill him. We haven't come about you, Dad. Mary Stephanie Stokes, I'm arresting you on suspicion of the murder of Michelle Williams. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm but your defence if you do I'm not mention... Of course I'm going to say something. When questioned, something I mean, this is ridiculous. They're arresting her, aren't they? They're arresting her. Hang on. Anything you Hold do, say, on a minute. Look, this is ridiculous. Dad! Hi. They've arrested her. Taken her away in handcuffs. Who? Steph, of course. Out of my way. I want to see them drive off. Well, no, what did no, they say? I, I think they just wanted to ask us right. some more questions. What, about Shelley? Go through, love. I'm afraid so. Well, what if she can't answer these questions satisfactorily? Then they will charge her. But she may have answers that will help. She may just come home again tonight. Home? Well, to the vicarage. Ashley, how could you have taken her in? And she's murdered Shelley and she tried to kill me. I think you should wait. See what the police have to say. Oh, I love this top. Well, you look great in it. Well, thank you. Really, I mean, I could never, ever afford clothes like this. Good. Well, come on. Let's go. Okay. You're not giving her that. You've only worn it once. No, you've just not always seen me in it. But it cost about 60 quid. 90, actually. Don't be so mean. But if you'd rather... Uh, no! I wouldn't. Don't be silly. Come on, let's go. Would you like to tell us the whole story? Starting with Shelley coming back to visit your dad at the B&B. &B? Well, that's easy. <laughs> she didn't come back. Um, it's the last time, I think, in July. Hmm. She packed everything up and left. That's funny, Mrs Stokes, because we've got the statement of a taxi driver he says he saw Shelley Williams being dropped off at the B&B &B on the 28th of September. Well, must have been another B&B. &B. No. No, there's a written record in the jobs book at the office backs him up. Well, maybe she did come and changed her mind. Or maybe I was out. Mm. But we've got a witness, one Emily Kirk, who says she saw you showing Shelley Williams into the B&B on that date. She must have made a mistake. She didn't strike me as the sort to make mistakes. Maybe I made a mistake. Uh, let me have a little think. <laughs> Thank you.
12.05, this is a continuation of the previous interview. The same person's present. I would remind you, you're still under caution. Uh, I've remembered now. She did come back in September. You're quite right. I got in a muddle about the dates. <laughs> well, she didn't stay long, and that's why I didn't remember, really. I told him my dad was very poorly and that he was in bed asleep. And she left. Immediately. Um, that's it, really. <laughs> Hello, love. Well, I've just been to a meeting on your behalf, so I now only need your final approval on the menus, the wines and the table decorations. And then we can go ahead. Right, well, I'll go through it this afternoon, then, yeah? Good. Um, and Katie's working on the music now, so have you chosen something for your entry into the church yet? Uh, no. no. <clears throat> right, well, take your time. Uh, will you come back and have lunch with us later? Oh, no, well, you've probably got enough to do with uh, Roger and Helen coming. Like what? There's nothing to do, is there? Well, you'll have to sort out food for them. I mean, uh, Helen's organic and Roger's a red meat man. Eats everything in sight, really. Drinks everything in sight, too. Mrs Stokes, the day after Miss Williams appeared... Well, disappeared. Um, spent just a short time at your b, &B her bank account got cleared out. So? Maybe she needed the money. <laughs> she didn't have much, did she? Since she didn't manage to get her hands on my dad's dosh. What? A couple of hundred at most. How do you know? I knew everything about Shelley. Knew? Why are you using the past tense? Because I knew everything about her before she disappeared. You shot a modest death? Not desperately. That's not what people say. People say you're very hard up. Yes. Well, people should mind their own business, shouldn't they? It's a good job they didn't in the case of your dad. Mrs Stokes is not here to answer questions about her father. Look, if you're suggesting I cleaned out Shelley's bank account, I didn't. How could I? I didn't have her details. Could have forced the information out of her, or taken it somehow. Yeah, well, I didn't. Knowing Shelley, she's on some tacky holiday somewhere. We've got some interesting forensic evidence from the B&B &B here. Have you? Apparently there was blood on the handrail leading down into the cellar. You didn't disclose this evidence to me before the interview. I want a full disclosure. And then I will need to consult with my client again. I mean, look at this. Apparently it costs 90 quid. Katie, that's great, but I've got to tell you something quick before my mum comes back. You're not going to believe this. Me and Marlon kiss off! <laughs> I know it is, isn't it? But I don't want Mum to know yet. She wouldn't approve. Well, why not? Uh, he's a dingle. He's older than me. <laughs> he's been married. A dingle mainly. But promise you won't tell anyone. Well, I promise. But I thought he said he wasn't interested in a relationship yet. Oh, I think he's ready to move on. He said he don't want to be on his own anymore. <laughs> oh, wait. What's the matter? But nothing. Nothing. I see, yeah. He, he only wants to go out with me because he's lonely. I'm sure it's not just that. I'm sure he likes you as well. No, I'm just better than nothing. That's what it is. Oh, for goodness sake, Donna. Oh, I'm going to go and ask him. What now? I need to know. You're absolutely sure you've told me the truth now? Yes. This forensic evidence is really very strong. We have to try and deal with it, and I cannot do that unless you tell me the truth. I've told you. I have this time. All right, then. We'll call them back in, and we'll try again. With the truth this time. I just wanted to say I won't hold you to it or anything. Because I mean, if it was just like an impulse thing, if you were feeling lonely, because I won't go out with you, Marlon, if that's all it was. Because then it was nothing to do with me, was it? And for me, you see, it's all about you and, and no one else. Pardon? Bye, Marlon. Hang on, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's last week. All that, all that. Blah, 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 I didn't. <laughs> Did you just say something about me kissing you because I'm lonely? Yeah. I realised this afternoon. Pardon? I didn't. I miss Trisha. Of course I do. But the happiest I've been in a long time is just lately. With you. So, you know, please don't spoil it. 
Right then. So, Shelley went down to the cellar to collect some stuff she'd left. And she slipped and, and fell. I thought you said she didn't stay long. Oh, she didn't. But she went down to the cellar. Well, it only took a minute. To get some stuff? What stuff? But you told us she'd already packed everything up. Well, just a couple of things she'd left. And she fell over? Cut her leg. Quite badly, actually. Well, it's very dark in that cellar, you know, and, and the edges of the stairs are quite sharp. So does that explain why there was blood on the cellar floor, too? Oh, she cut it quite badly. I had to help her into a chair. Help her? Or drag her? According to forensics, there are dragging marks, too. I didn't drag her. I half helped her, half carried her to the chair. But she was on her feet. Well, half and half. <laughs> we found hair on the cellar floor, too, Steph. How did that come about? Perhaps she cut her head. You know, as well as her leg. Does your hair fall out when you cut your head? Mine doesn't. Certainly didn't if I cut my leg. Which one was it, Steph? A red or a leg? All right. Let's go through it all again. Right, close your eyes. And turn around. Now, open your eyes. What do you think? It's great, isn't it? Where'd you get that? From Sadie. And what did she give you that for? Well, she gave me loads of other stuff as well. Oh, you should see your face. What's the matter, Rob? Do I look that sexy? Mm. Yeah. We think you killed her. We think you killed her in the cellar and you tried to clean up afterwards, only you didn't do it very well. I didn't kill her. It'd be easier if you told us all about it, Steph. We found more blood in your car, Steph, and a bag of rubbish at the local tip. I'm showing Mrs Stoke items EH1 and 2. We found her coat in the bag and some gaffer tape bearing traces of her DNA. You gagged her, didn't you? You're putting words in her mouth. You gagged her while you murdered her, and then you took the body somewhere to dispose of it. No. I took her to the station, alive. I left her there. She must have left her coat, got in the rubbish. Which station was that? I, I, I can't remember. They have closed circuit cameras at railway stations these days, Steph. We check the footage of everyone on the date in question. No Shelley. No Shelley, no you. It was the bus station. I, I, I mean the bus stop. Well, make your mind up. Which bus stop? I can't remember. Oh, that's a bad memory you've got. Just shut up, you! I think this interview is becoming oppressive. Where was it, Steph? It was in the middle of nowhere. So there was no one there? No. I didn't kill her! I didn't! <sighs> Mint anyone? No, thank you. Be better if you just confessed, Steph. My client's looking tired. I think we should take a break. No. No, I want to sort this out. My client is too tired to continue. No! We can get this sorted. I think this interview should be terminated. All right. Let's take a break. Have a rest. Have something to eat. Think it over. Uh, so, so you can't tell me anything? Well, has she been charged with anything, as far as you know? No. All right, well, thank you. Just uh, keep me informed, will you? Thank you. Goodbye.
Mrs. Stokes, we really cannot go on like this. I've told you the truth over and over. No, you haven't. Not at any point. This morning you told me you'd never even seen her, that she'd never been near the B&B. It was a mistake. Then you said she'd gone down to the cellar to get her belongings and fallen. And afterwards, you'd taken her to the railway station. Only now it's a bus stop. And you've never satisfactorily explained the gaffer tape with Miss Williams's DNA on it. Okay. I'll tell you the truth. I took Shelley down the cellar. Took her? Okay. I pushed her. I wanted to frighten her. She deserved it. She'd wormed her way into my dad's affections before. Ruined his life, almost ruined mine. I thought I'd gotten rid of her for good. She came back, tried it again. Was she badly hurt? Oh, no. Still gabbling on. I had crocodile tears. So what did you do? I tied her to a chair. I told her I never wanted to see her again. I gagged her with the tape. I threatened her. I didn't mean to hurt her. Oh, I've made such a mess of everything. Yes, you have. And it doesn't make my job any easier. What happened next? I took the tape off, took her upstairs, bunged her in the car. I dumped her at the station. Alive. She forgot her coat and scarf, so I binned them. So this is the truth at last? Yes. I must have been mad. You have to tell them this. So what do you think? We charge her. Sounds good to me. I just wish we had a body. Boss! The solicitor's not going to represent her anymore. Withdrawn due to professional difficulties. That proves it was a pack of lies. I think that body will turn up. Let's go for it. You're all right about Roger and Helen coming, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, of course I am. It could have been worse, you know. From your point of view, I mean. It was going to be George and Anne as well. Well, if I get bored, I can always go out and get drunk with Charles, can I? Joking. Tell us where the body is. There isn't a body. Interview terminated at 19.04. He must have told his solicitor something, because he's pulled out. Tell us where it is. It'll help you, you know. The judge will take it into account. I can't tell you, because I don't know. I haven't killed her. She fell down the stairs and hurt herself. So you're sticking to your story? Even though it's full of holes and don't make any sense. It's the truth. Then we'll have to charge her with murder. Thanks for a lovely meal. Are you going to see Mr Turner now? Yeah. Have you told him yet? No, no. Not with everything that's been going on. Mm. Have you told anyone yet? No. No. No one. Me neither, no one. No. Yeah. Shall we... Shall we keep it a secret, then? Yeah. Especially, Especially from, from my mum. mum. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Oh! Sorry to bother you, but uh, Mr Turner said he wanted to be kept informed. Oh, right. Uh, come in. He's, sir. Uh, he's not well, you know. Uh, Alan Love, it's uh, the police. What, 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 what's happened? Have you charged her? Yeah. So, you do think she... She murdered Miss Williams, yes, we believe so. But there's no body. Well, not as yet. Huh? Well, then why... We have a certain amount of forensic evidence. What, what, what does that mean? Well, we think that 
Your daughter took your friend down into the cellar and murdered her there. Cellar? I was just upstairs. I, I could have gone down and helped her. Yes, but you couldn't, love. She made sure of that. How? I, I, I want to know. We're not absolutely sure. She gagged her. Blow to the head, maybe. We found blood in the cellar and in her car. We think she disposed of the body elsewhere, but we'll find it, I'm sure. But I'm very sorry, Mr Turner. That I was right. They all thought I was mad, but... I was right and they were wrong. She, she did come and try and see me. How oh, could she? To die like that. So alone and so frightened. I've lost them all now. Trisha and Steph and, and now Shelley. 